So today I wanted to bring you the what's in my beach bag tag. Um, and you guys know that I've been going to the beach a little bit and I've been getting really bad sunburns, but I've been trying different sunscreens and things have been working. Um, but this is actually my recent trip to the beach and I have not unpacked yet. So I wanted to show you what's in my beach bag because a lot of people have been doing this and I think that it'll help a lot of people. The other tag seemed really fun. Um, and tag videos are always fun. So I did want to show you what I have in there. And the first things that aren't in there are my camera, which I'm filming on. Um, sunglasses that are on my head because it's really hot today too. It's like 90 95 degrees and the beach is 85 degrees so it's like there's nowhere to escape the heat um, but at least the water's warm and then my phone and you always want to put electronics in like a little plastic bag so I usually have a plastic bag in here with those but obviously because I'm using them today they're not in my beach bag. Um, so without further ado, before this intro is a million minutes long, I will show you what I keep in here. Um, first thing that I'm using is one of these. I actually got this bag for free from the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Perfume. Um, it was like November of a couple years ago, but what I love about it is the first off, it's big. It's a tote bag. Um, it's got straps and it's see-through. Um, and it's blue, so like you can, it's like it's cute, it's blue, you know, what's up? Um, but I like that you can see through it so I can actually tell where my stuff is because I'm the kind of person that just like digs like this in my purse. So what's nice about this is that I can like look for what I'm looking for and then take it out and use it. Um, so yeah, let's get into what's actually on the inside. The first thing you must always take to the beach with you is a cat because cats go meow. I want to say meow Mitu. This is Mitu. He got a lot bigger. He's ninja cat or terror cat because he attacks the other kitties. Um, and you just fold him right up in your beach bag and he makes the perfect pillow. He makes the perfect seashell hunting buddy. Ow! Ow! Sometimes he'll claw people if they try to chase you. Um, I'm just kidding. Don't take your cat to the beach. That's not a good idea. <laughs> um, the first thing, this I didn't finish. It's a Fousey Slenderized Berry Raspberry. These are really actually really tasty and they're not as unhealthy as sodas. So I would recommend them. Um, when I go to the beach, I do like to take a change of clothes. This time my change of clothes is shorts um, and a little tank toppy thing. Just shorts and a tank top. It's cute. You can put it over your swimsuit. You can wear it without a swimsuit. Um, sometimes when you go to the beach, you get super, super sandy. Whoopsies, something's attached to it. Um, when you go to the beach, you can get super, super sandy, so at least this is like a clean change of clothing. These are just shorts from ASOS, and then this shirt is from, from Maria Lima. I'm not sure what that is. Um, anyways, the thing that was attached to that was a nail file because you never know what's going to happen. I've never had hangnails in my entire life and all of a sudden I'm getting hangnails and I'm not a nail biter or picker. Maybe my skin is dehydrated. I don't know. I'm just like freaking out. But nail file is always good. Um, this is like my little wallet and it has some change because you might want to throw change at people on the beach. I don't know. Um, throw change at them when they're changing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but this just has my ID, some money in here. Um, and what's nice is that it's like a mini wallet, and I usually attach this to my regular wallet or to my keys or something. And that way I can just get up and go, because my wallet has like my cards and my, you know, gift cards and my identification stuff and all this stuff that you really don't need with you all the time. So this is strictly money and ID, so it works very, very well. Um, okay, next, tell me if you guys want a video on this, but for me, especially being a curly girl, it is very, very difficult to keep my hair looking good, especially during the summer. Reason why is because during the summer, sun is hot, gets on your hair, dries out your hair, and then chlorine and salt water, it ruins your hair. So this is actually an intense hydrator that I take with me, and I'm not going to get into the details because maybe you guys don't care, but basically this is something I use while I'm in the water and after the water, and there's like a routine that I have to keep my hair healthy from chlorine and from sand and stuff. This is just part of that routine that I actually use while I'm there. So if you want a video on that, let me know because I don't want to bore you and talk about it for 20 minutes. Um, this, I'm going to tag you or link you guys to the what's in my bag tag. I did that tag a while ago. This is something super spiffy that was in my purse that goes with me. You might think, oh, Cassandra, it's mascara. Oh, it's lipstick. No, it's a toothbrush. This is to get the chips out of your teeth after you snack on some chips. Um, I was going to say sand, but you're probably not going to get sand in your teeth unless you're eating a sandwich and it has sand in it, which would be kind of gross. But I eat watermelon and chips on the beach. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't have any stuff in there. And it's battery powered. So you just kind of turn it on and go, and, go and then it's, it's getting your teeth clean. And then when you take pictures on the camera that I'm filming on, you don't have like, I don't know, like chippy teeth or watermelon teeth. Um, Flip-flops are kind of a necessity. I'm actually barefoot right now, so that's why I'm not wearing them, but flip-flops are always good. They're much more comfortable than anything else out there, and you can take them off, but the thing is that especially if you go to the beach regularly, you know this, but maybe it's your first time going to the beach or you're going on vacation or maybe you don't go to the beach that often. Sand will burn your feet off, especially if it's a 94 degree day here in California. 
you know, kill me please. Um, if you step on sand, it'll burn your feet. You can't even walk across the beach unless you're in the water. So having flip-flops like this is a really good idea to protect your feet. And people might think, duh, Cassandra, but there, trust me, there's probably people out there who didn't know that. Um, hat. You guys know how adamant I am on sun protection. Hat saves you from the sun. And I've had to cover up, even with sunscreen and sun protection, I got a really bad sunburn a while ago, but hats, hats and random noises over there. Random noises. Hats really will help you. All right, next, this is a swimsuit and a swim cover-up. Um, this is my swimsuit. I have a couple swimsuits for the summer. This one was really last year's, but this is just one of my favorites. I think it looks really good on me, and it kind of protects me more than just a bikini or something on the beach. So this is, you know, a swimsuit that you wear to the beach that you don't mind getting sandy or stuff. And then this right here is like a swimsuit cover-up. So I'm sure you guys know how this works. You basically put the swimsuit on and then you put the cover up over the swimsuit. This swimsuit is either from Neiman Marcus or from Macy's and then this is just from H&M. Um, and it's really cute because it's crochet but it keeps you more modest than just walking around in a swimsuit all day. Um, something else is my library book from the library that I still have not read. And it has sand all up in it so I don't think they're gonna be too happy with me. But um, yeah, I have been reading this for ages and then I've never finished and I think I owe like $20 on it right now because it's like, what, 10 cents a day? I don't know. Um, this again is another shirt. This is just more of a cover up, um, something you can swim in because when you're in the water, sunscreen comes off, the water magnifies the rays of the sun. You don't want to get burned. You don't want to get cancer. You don't want all that bad stuff happening. So I like to wear a shirt in the water over my swimsuit sometimes just to protect my chest and my back and stuff like that. Or if you don't want to wear it in the water, then you know you could wear it out of the water when you're done or something like that. Um, water. Water. Stay hydrated. Um, the sun, it does a lot of things. Some are good, some are bad. Uh, but one thing sun does is dehydrate you. It makes you sleepy. It does. makes you hot. But it also increases melatonin and it makes you sleepy. And you can get really dehydrated because the water just, you know, all up in your body. So drinking water. Oh no, the tag's coming off. Drinking water is a very good thing. And there's just a couple other things in here. Um, this is tea bag. It's half open too. I'm not going to eat that right now. Um, and then this is a little bottle of clear nail polish. Nail polish. And I will link you, um, link it ink, to a video about the 100 million ways to use clear nail polish. Um, and then I'll link you to my what's in my bag tag that has like 50 million bags of tea. I am really weird where I just keep bags of tea in my purse in case I'm thirsty and nail polish because you never know when you're going to need it, you know, for the million different things that it can do and fix and spiffy up. So. I know it's really random, but trust me, it comes in handy. Yes, even at the beach. Um, even if I, I, I get a cut sometimes, like on a little sandal or seashell or something walking, you can even put this on. I don't know if it works as well as a liquid band-aid, but I've been told you can use it that way. This is something I got pretty recently, Australian Gold. I didn't know that this was a sun tanning product. I totally thought this was sunscreen. I think it is sunscreen because it says oil-free, 45 faces. Yes, I used it on my back, but that's okay. I use it on my face too. Um, Broad Spectrum 45. Someone said it's supposed to be a tanning product and maybe that's why I got a sunburn. But it doesn't look like a tanning product to me. Even if the brand is a tanning product, this looks like a non-tanning product. So this is the sunscreen I'm using. I also like the Neutrogena sunscreen. And then I also like the Soma Institute where you just put it up on your face. Really cool. Um, last but not least, don't forget to protect your lips. So also, when you apply sunscreen, don't just apply it to your neck and your back and your face. Get your ears, get the tops of your hands. People forget to put sunscreen here and here and they get cancer and their ears fall off and they die. Um, which is really not cool. Because, you know, my grandparents had cancer and all that. Trust me, you need to put it everywhere. Um, these are super stiffy. Don't forget to put sunscreen on your lips. It is very essential that you protect your lips just like anything else. And lips are very susceptible because, you know, they're always wet, you're always talking. Um, a lot of people have peely lips, stuff like that. These are two things that I love and I don't know why I have two, but I do. First one is the CoverGirl Nature Luke's. It's SPF 15. This one has like a little bit more color. It's a shine. It's a gloss. It's cute. Now this one, this one is a revitalizing balm. This one is more like cute every day and it has SPF 15. This one has SPF 20, but this is like super intense moisture. So if your lips are dry and cracked, use this. It'll give you a little bit of color. I'll link you to a review of this as well because this is super spiffy. I love this stuff to death. And then this is something that if you're not super dehydrated in the lip area, you can use. Um, but this is one from Eugenia that I've actually been loving. So that is what's in my beach bag that is now not in my beach bag but all over my floor. Um, I love you guys. I would love to see what's in your beach bag. And I will link it in you some super spiffy beachy videos here. Um, 
I'll put like beach videos here or like sun videos here and then here I will link all the videos that I previously linked so you guys can click any of those and it'll take you to that page and I'll just pause this video so you can watch that and then come back and watch the ending of this even though it's already ending so you might as well just wait until it ends and then click on them but anyways I love you guys so much I hope that you enjoyed this video um, I hope you don't mind it you know I like oh forgot you can bring a towel too. Don't forget a towel. Mine is all sandy. Look at mine has a polo bear. He's a teddy. He's so cute. I like him a lot. He says, hello. I don't know if he's waving. I don't know what he's doing. He's just sitting there being cute, but it didn't fit in my beach bag, which is, ow. Which is why it wasn't in my beach bag, because it didn't fit. Don't hit me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I gotta go now because I'm about to abuse my beach bags and I don't want to get in trouble for it. So, um, excuse me while I beat these inanimate objects when we're done. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you all soon. Love you guys and I'll see you in those videos. Alright, I'm, I'm serious now. Bye.